My levels of dopamine, adrenaline, and neuroperiphery skyrocket each time I see you, when I think of you, or even through the mention of your name. Deep within, a sentiment too great to be characterized by words, a form of God, a devotion, defining my very existence, a verb, no, actually, the verb, a two-way street, I hoped, I love you, I want you, all of you, for the rest of my life, are words I yearned to hear from you, but you were too busy with like to actually love me, so I guess it is true. That in the absence of self-love, true love can never exist. Although, I did try to shield all your insecurities, which seems to be all in vain as they still administer to your every move. To love or not to love. A choice you failed to make. You said you loved food, your dog, your job. But you couldn't love me, even though I gave into your every desire passionately. I compromised a lot, but you only shared the breadcrumbs to your sandwich, then you told me we were more like brother and sister. That word again, like. You tainted my perspective of love, then left me in nothing but pain when you told me it's not you, it's me, and that you didn't feel the same anymore, which made me doubt if you felt anything ever. Maybe I was never in love, because love is something defined between two people, which between us was never reciprocated so I guess I liked you too what is love if I committed so deeply in like I can only imagine the concept of love so mysterious and so complex to be defined or grasped by any of us.